Would you believe me if I told you that surrendering to God was the best way to live a life that is abundant? Because surrendering to God is literally the best way to live a life of abundance. And I'm talking about abundance in, in love, in joy, in gratefulness, in grace, in mercy, in hope. Like that is the real abundant life. Today we're going to talk about what it means to surrender to God and how we can surrender to God. I'm going to start by reading Job 11, 13 through 19. It says, if only you would prepare your heart and lift up your hands to him in prayer. Get rid of your sins and leave all iniquity behind you. Then your face will brighten with innocence. You will be strong and free of fear. You will forget your misery. It will be like water flowing away. Your life will be brighter than the noonday. Even darkness will be as bright as morning. Having hope will give you courage. You will be protected and will rest in safety. You will lie down unafraid and many will look to you for help. Surrendering to God is so good and we need to understand why it's important for us to surrender. My name is Michelle. So if this is the first time you have stopped by my channel, what you will find here is biblical encouragement to help you grow in your own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you come here all the time, I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. So today we're talking about surrendering to God and we're going to talk about how we do that. And the first thing I want to talk about is prayer. Prayer is simply communicating with God. It's sharing our thoughts and asking God for his perspective. It's praying to let go of the things that we feel like we have to control and just allow God to help us. Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Listen, because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, we are now made right with God. Our relationship has been restored and we are the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And that is how the Father sees us. So prayer is simply just open dialogue between you and the Father. So I just want to encourage you to pray about everything. And I mean everything. The next thing uh, we need to do in order to surrender to God is we must trust God. Listen, we must trust in God's goodness. We must trust in his wisdom, in his sovereignty, and believe that he has our best interest in mind. And we have to understand that if, if we're going to give God control, then we must trust him. And we know that trusting somebody does not happen overnight. It's a process. So don't beat yourself up if you don't 100% trust God to, to control or to be involved in every area and every detail of your life quite yet. But I do want you to get there. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. The Lord knows everything. And when we lean on him for understanding, for wisdom, for knowledge, we're going to get the best there is out there, okay? We can search the internet. We can search books. I mean, we can really find information on almost anything these days. But only God's way is the best way because he knows everything. His ways are higher than our, our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So if we're seeking the Lord for understanding, for wisdom, for knowledge, we are going to find it, friend. The next thing I want to talk to you about is being honest with God. Listen, God is not afraid of our doubts or our issues. So we can be open and honest 
with him about what's going on. I mean, he literally knows everything that's going on anyway. But when we try to hide from him, we, we aren't living honestly before him. When we get caught up in our doubts, in our fears, in our issues, and we think it's simply too much for God to handle, or God doesn't care about what I'm going through, those are both lies that the enemy is telling you, and it's going to keep you far from the Lord. We must be open and honest with God, like a trusted, reliable, good, good father, because that is what he is. So you can trust him and you can be honest with him about anything and everything. Another way to surrender to God is to spend time in scripture. The Holy Spirit and God's wisdom can transform our minds and hearts by helping us align our desires with God's. That's what spending time in scripture does for us. Listen to what Psalms 119.105 says. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. His word is what guides us and directs us through daily life and just through the wisdom and the knowledge that it brings us. Listen, we're not going to get that wisdom from the world. We're not going to get the guidance from the world like we do from his word. We must be spending time in scripture so that we know what God's will is and so that we can allow him to lead us and guide us in the ways, the path that he has for us to go. The only place we're going to find that is in the word of God. And the next thing I want to talk about is just being mindful of God's presence. Listen, we know that God is omnipresent. Okay, he is everywhere. And he sees everything. He's aware of everything. So nothing happens in our lives without the Lord being aware of it. So we just have to be mindful of his presence. When we understand that there is nothing that he doesn't see, then we can allow ourselves to be more open and honest and trustworthy with him because he literally knows every single detail of our life like nobody else. Jeremiah 29 13 says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. The Lord wants us to seek him with our whole hearts, then we're going to find him. We're going to find his guidance, his direction, his wisdom. And it's going to allow us to live the life that God created us to live. It's going to allow us to surrender to the Lord because we know that he is always going to be there for us no matter what, okay? And in order to live in the present moment and to surrender to the Lord, we have to avoid getting caught up in our past mistakes, right? We cannot dwell on what we done yesterday or last week or years ago because there's nothing we can do to change it. We must just move forward with the Lord. And we have to understand that when we get hung up on our past mistakes, it really hinders us. It prevents us from surrendering to the Lord because we just think that we are unworthy of of his presence. We're unworthy of his guidance. We're unworthy of the relationship that he wants to have with us. And that is simply not true. The Lord will receive us just the way we are, exactly where we are. But listen, in his grace, in his mercy, in his love, he refuses to leave us there. So friend, I don't want you to be discouraged about anything that you have done in the past. The Lord wants you to surrender your life to him and you will live the best life that is possible to live here on earth when you surrender your life to him. And the last thing I want to talk about is recognizing detours. Listen, when we see our obstacles as detours that are actually guiding us in the right direction, we will be more willing to surrender our lives to the Lord. If we see these obstacles and detours as our lack or our limitations or our unworthiness for the Lord to guide us, we're going to get stuck 
in those obstacles and those detours. And we're not going to move as freely as we would with the Lord. So Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Listen, the Lord has good, good plans for you, and he doesn't want you to get stuck in your past. He don't want you to get stuck in your obstacles, in your detours, because, hey, maybe sometimes God directs you in those ways to, to really grow you and mature you in your faith. So I just want to encourage you that living a life surrendered to God is going to be the best possible life that you can live. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that we can trust you, that we can surrender it all to you because you have our best interest in mind. And Lord, we just thank you for your word and for the Holy Spirit because without those two things, there's no way we could surrender to you. So Lord, we just thank you that you have provided everything we need and we just praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that word encouraged you. If it did, please like and subscribe to my channel and come back here next Wednesday because I release a new video every Wednesday. All right, take care. God bless.